Okay, good morning to everyone. This is my third video about Unity and uh, how to make something. So my idea is that uh, I'm telling you about uh, how to use uh, event handler. So in this example there is a couple of different players red one and blue one and uh, also there is uh, three boxes in front of them here three and there is other three and here is in the skin you see boxes they are not a correct uh, way if you look those names number one is there and <laughs> number two is there but anyway uh, there is canvas and there is a uh, panel and there is two text components or text here in the left upper s screen is uh, red points and blue points is right on the right hand side so player A is a red player so maybe I'm naming that better so you can use function key to easily rename that its function to F2 so this is player red or red player and other one also is uh, sorry about that blue one so now you, now you know which one is red and which one is blue and there is a player script uh, for movement each player has own movement scripts and there is uh, one key for moving forward uh, the blue one has B and red one has R so that way you know which one is moving and you have only one script there and uh, when we are looking our scripts folder we see there is four different scripts the box scripts is uh, only for getting information when player hits the box and player is for movement and then there is uh, player points which hold only the events handler and uh, private int field for points so let's have a look th those a little later and then there is a player points UI for updating those uh, two texts there so uh, first we are looking for player script and where I get the movement uh, from there so sometimes it's uh, easier to get something ready and use that and you just change it a little bit for your Protor projects so each player holds his uh, or see his or her points and uh, there is points for our player and it's private field so I put there getter and setter and get is only returning those points 
so you use that way points and when you are putting something there each time we are looking if there is something change is value change and if that is true then we insert the points there and then we call on change and uh, there is also have to check is check if this is not null otherwise you get exception and that way we send event and this is for that script and there is no arguments so we put them empty you can send also something there and uh, there is UI script so there is a uh, private fields for points and player oh that's sorry about that it's text field so this is red or blue text field in the skin and this is player who is holding those player points and one thing you have to notice that player points there is no mono behavior so this is C sharp plus without any mono behavior so you can't use this class without instantiate it so let's have a look player so on the start we get new instance for player points that way we can use that later and also we get component from character controller so we can move it and there is that move and I'm not talking about that now and uh, there in the UI script there is on the start no start and on destroy there we get that uh, subscribe for that event and you have all always uh, remember to unsubscribe also that so is there is minus and there is plus that way you know which one is which and uh, there we get on change and every time we get uh, by sender those player points and it's wise to check if uh, points are not null so you can get points there and then we put that points on the text field so that way it's only happening once when uh, value is changed here so this is much better way to do than on the update function oh for example here this is bad way to do because uh, oh bad way to do because uh, this happen on the every frame so for example on the mobile phone you get many calls uh, unnecessary calls so it's it's heavy it's so heavy at heavy that you don't use that way only when you have to and uh, the box see 
S is here. This is mono behavior, and there is only one function or method on trigger enter, and who is collider and we are getting player component from there so when we get player component we can add points there each time when it's hitting on the box it gets one plus points and then we are destroying that box so here red player there is widget body and uh, player script and also capsule collider and no trigger his trigger is uh, needed and box one is here there is box collider and is trigger and true and there is bo box script so let's have a look play uh, they are floating now but don't care about that and is there so now I'm moving it hit and one point let's move two points and <laughs> there was a selection on the box two or second box now and the blue one goes there zero and one two and maybe I'm doing something else where you are going to oh other way please now it's uh, done so that way you can handle who is colli colliding and uh, each time it's sending events to update those fields so that wasn't very hard to do but uh, sometimes you have to do many small scripts than uh, one, uh, one large script so it's much better to handle, handle collision on one place and then you have uh, something to hold points for example and uh, there might be other statistics how many enemies you have killed and any other things how many how many gold coin you have picked up and that way so this is my way to do and uh, maybe you are doing something like that so please give me any feedback so I can develop my coding skill and maybe I'm better to use unity some other day thanks for watching